back, 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 back at it again. You're thinking, why am I looking like this, you know? Oh, shooting up just for the video? Nah, I came back from fellowship and we had a great time, you know? Believers love old campus ministry, you know, check out the badge, you know, we're just repping it, repping it, repping it all day, repping it, okay? We're talking about something else. You're watching every day with Pastor Shed, where you receive the word of the Spirit. Just today, you know, how friendship you see. This is S for B dot E to the S, super fire, so winner, so winner. We're seeing addictions, you see, I saw the episode, I said to myself, boom, there's more I can say, you see, was the theme scripture, the theme scripture was this, the theme scripture was, you walk in the spirit and you will not fulfill the lust and desires and cravings of the flesh, you see, you're, you're, you're listening to me, you don't want to live in the flesh anymore, you don't want to do things that are not pleasing to God anymore, you want to please God in your life, okay, walk in the spirit, let me help you, okay, one of the things you can do is this, subdue the Subdue the flesh, number one is subdue the flesh. There's a there's an outer man, there's an inner man. There's a spirit, then there's the flesh. Your spirit has a voice and your flesh has a voice. You should know this. Paul says something. He said, why do I do things that I don't want to do? It's like my flesh and my spirit are raging war against each other. That's the same thing with your flesh. Your flesh rages war against your spirit. But I'm saying fasting, okay, fasting. Your flesh wants to eat, but you say no to the flesh. You're taming the flesh like an animal. Do you understand? So if you haven't fasted, you see, maybe you fast once a year, you see. If you really grow in Christ, you should take a pot, take up fasting. Maybe once a week, once every two weeks, do you understand? It's a day where you don't just stop, you don't just neglect food, but you have your attention on the things of God. Have your attention on the word of God, on prayer. That way you will subdue the flesh. After that fast, you find out that the flesh and the desire and the flesh's voice is silence. That's one thing you can do. Subdue the flesh. Because for example, your flesh you see has a voice, you see, when you come flesh wants to eat, it wants to sleep, it wants to play PlayStation, it wants to go to the club, skank it out, it wants to um watch pornography, it wants to um Watch girls who wants to have carnivals about brothers, carnivals about sisters, they wants to gossip. You find yourself getting into a place you can't help but gossip. You know, you just want to talk about people. That's the flesh. But you must subdue that flesh, subdue that nature. But let Christ arise, let God arise. Glory to God in your life. Come on, it's all about Jesus. Oh boy, listen to this. Come on, I'm thinking, you know, you love God, right? You love Jesus, but it's all about Jesus. The most important thing to the Father is your love for Jesus. You see, we've been praying to God, but don't let it be that we're praying to some religious entity. Don't let God become some religious figure up there. No, understand that you have a hero, you have a man, Jesus Christ, who gave the life for you. Oh, what better thing to do than to live for Jesus at this age? Oh, at your age, wherever you are right now, make up a choice to live for Jesus, you see. When you live for Jesus, oh, you will go for him. You will stop. You see, you have friends, right? And the friends you keep are important, you see, because you are even the influence, or oh, you are getting influenced, you see. In your clique, yeah, in your group, in your circle of friends, if you are not influencing them, you are getting influenced, you see. It's, it's a fact. So you ask yourself, am I influencing them? If not, I'm getting influenced. So you, sometimes you have to find new friends, you see. Sometimes you have to try to go to the church, the house of God. You want to go to church, but your flesh says, no, let's sleep on. Sleep on. <laughs> sleep is down, Jesus would say. <laughs> sleep is down. You see, you even get invited to the fellowship. You get invited to church. Your flesh says, no, no. I'm tired. You know, I just came out. But your spirit wants to go. You want to serve God. But your flesh doesn't want you to serve God. That's why you must subdue the flesh. That for example, I'll say back to your friend, but you see, the people you hang out with are important because their nature will walk up onto you. Because when they buy, you go to Canada, you go to America for two, three years, the accident comes upon you from most people. The accident will come upon you. Why? Because their nature has come upon you. So the people you hang out with you are important because their nature will walk up onto you. Be like David. You know, God spoke highly of David. God said, David was the man after my own heart. You see, what did David do? David took pleasure and delight in the things of God. He said, I've kept your word in my heart that I may not sin against him. He said, he said, he, he might look we saw one one nine. He so loved the word of God. He loved the things of God. He said it was a joy. He said it was a joy when he said, Now let's go to the house of God. Oh, is it a joy when you see it's church? You see? Are you are you you maybe you go to, maybe you're thinking oh but church is boring. Why do you make it like? Why don't you start you've got why don't you start something in church to make the things of God exciting? Because it is exciting. 
Oh, and there's so much going to give your life. So you say, you say yes, sir. You say yes, look, I'm ready. Here I am. I may not be the best speaker, but here I am. You can use me. Glory to God. You see, oh, he can use you. He imperfects your imperfections. Come on now, talk to me. That's what this is do, you know, in that poem stuff. <laughs> be blessed. <laughs> We were talking about the flesh, you see, because the addiction is, yeah, it's a job to the flesh. Get to the word, you know, spill your food, you see, you got, you know, man shall not live on Hovis, Jalof, Rache, Pasta, Chinese, KFC, McDonald's alone, you see, because you got this flesh, right, you know, some of you guys go to the gym, pumping, I used to go to the gym, I used to go to the gym, you can tell, right? you can tell, look at that, I just move my chest, like, boom, boom. you see that once it's moved there, boom, boom. You see, you, see, you see that, you see, come on now. But some of you guys go to gym, yeah? Pump in the weight. Some of you just go to gym, burn those calories. Nice, 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 nice. But so let's say you're 21 years old. I'm 21. And I say, okay, I've had food for 21 years. That's enough. It's been long enough. 21 years, I've had been eating. That's enough for now. I can take a break from that. No, it's continuous. The same thing with the word of God. You don't say, oh, I'm in church on Sunday. No need to, you know, I've had my word for the week. No, God forbid. You must just say, I wrote my Bible yesterday. I didn't do it today. You know, I had, a, I had a, a big dose yesterday. No, the, the, the word of God is food for your spirit. The real you. The real you would need some food. You see, that's right. You get turned away to the fleshly desires. Because your spirit man is weak. So the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak, Jesus said. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is You want to serve God, but your flesh wants to do other things. Savour the things of the world. Jesus Christ said to Satan, Satan voice that fought through Peter. Jesus said, get thee behind me, Satan. Thou surveillest not the things of God. That means you don't take pleasure in the things of God, you see? So what is your life like? Do you take pleasure in the things of God? Because Jesus Christ said, those are, that's the characteristic of the devil, is that he does not take pleasure, delight in the things of God. What's your delight? The light of the things of God, you see. You say, oh Lord, I want to go home, you know, I want to study your word. Oh, I'm excited, you know. Sometimes you go home, you're ready for Netflix, for, you know, for some food, or to play your PS4. You can say, Lord, I want to go home. I'm excited to go home and fellowship with the Holy Ghost. Fellowship with the word of God. Come on. Because <laughs> I'm excited to spend time with you, God. Oh, boy. The flesh is barbaric. Think about it, okay? Last thing, I want to be this. Maybe some people can relate to this. Just this and brothers, okay? Back in the day, yeah, I can, you know, back in the day, the old man, the old nature, okay? Back in the day, okay? Think about this. Let's say you saw a sister, you know, but you didn't physically like her. But even as a young boy, you know, for young, many young boys, you see, probably sisters as well, most like me. Back in the day, the old man before you're born again, okay? You would see a sister that you had no physical attraction to, you didn't like her. You wouldn't be seen in public of her, you see, because that's where you that's where you reason right then, you see. I'm not saying that's how you reason now, but you wouldn't be seen in public of her, you see. You see this sister is not my type. She's physically unappealing, do you understand? But still, you would meet some of these sisters and have sexual relations with them, do you understand? Why? Because your flesh is speaking. Your flesh is speaking. You're being run by your flesh. The same thing with Attractive sisters, you see, you, you, you're you controlled by the flesh. It's like barbaric, it's barbaric nature. You see, animal instinct, you understand? You're being run by the flesh. You're after these sisters or brothers because of this spirit of lust, like this, 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 this flesh, the instinct that's so, it's so it's taking a hold of you, taking a hold of you, whereby you're run by your senses. You're, you're led by your senses. Bible says to be carnally minded, you see, is eminently of God. You see, to be carnally minded is death. Do you understand? But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Spiritually minded, you see things as God sees them. You don't see a sister with, you know, you see the glory of God. You see them with the eyes of God. You see them with the beauty of God. You say, Lord Jesus, this one, I want to bring that, bring this sister to Christ. I want to bring this brother to Christ. Oh boy. So, you know, it's just for the whole, it's for Jesus. It shows up for Jesus. And I have a word for you. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't give up. You know, somebody watching me, you're a Christian, and you've been laboring. You see, in the things of God. You've been trying. You've been you want to serve God and you've been putting the work in. God says keep going. Don't be strong and maybe courageous. Don't give up. Keep going. Because your labor is not in vain. And you're suddenly gonna burst forth. Amen. Wow. God bless you.